Alright, hey guys. Um, I just left my very first lab, my health assessment lab, and I also got to meet my lab instructor, and she is honestly just she seems amazing like she's so funny and she just like has the best stories and um, she seems like a great instructor and she really made us feel like a lot calmer more relaxed which makes me really happy because I feel like having a good lab instructor will just make the whole experience so much better. Since it is our first lab, we didn't really do much. We mainly watched a bunch of videos on like how to use our stethoscope, um, a blood pressure cuff, and how to use a few other instruments. Um, and so that took like the first half of the class. And then the second half of the class, the fire alarm went off, which is like we don't know why like no one knew what was going on like i don't know if someone pulled it or what um but we all had to evacuate the building so we didn't really get to like try out anything which kind of sucked but it's okay i think next class like we'll just make up for that i'm gonna go to the library and eat my lunch that i packed um because i am starving and then i'm gonna get some schoolwork done I think I'll stay there for a few hours. I wanna get um, all of my patho notes done for the week um, cause I'm still finishing up those. And then I wanna get prepared for my lab tomorrow cause I have PCC lab tomorrow and get some other notes and stuff done too. So yeah. guys I am done with my third day of nursing school today just like yesterday I just had one lab um, this one was early in the morning though yesterday it was at 1 30 and today it was at 8 o'clock in the morning so I set my alarm for like 7 a.m. and I was so so tired but this lab um, I have a different instructor because this was PCC lab um, patient-centered care and I love her too so far she seems super sweet and um, just she was really helpful and she kept like we actually got to do stuff today on the dummies because the fire alarm didn't get pulled today um so she like was super helpful with helping us um do the stuff we were doing and demonstrating things and then after lab i walked back with a few of my nursing school friends that i have made and then i went to the library for a little bit um and studied there i got some PCC work done. I'm still trying to finish all of the stuff for module one this week um, and then I actually started planning already for week two next week because I just feel like it's gonna come up really fast um, and so I'm just trying to get ahead while I can um, on the planning and stuff because I know there's gonna be a lot to plan again. Yeah so I'm about to go home now and then I have health assessment class tomorrow so I'm gonna start preparing for that and just getting all like the notes and stuff done that I need to so that I can come to class prepared and yeah that's my last class of the week and then I'm officially done with my first week of nursing school which is really crazy but I also have an ATI meeting on Friday it's a zoom meeting um, to go through all my ATI stuff and um, it's a meeting on like how to use our products and everything um, because once we all get it downloaded we have a bunch of ATI assignments that we're gonna have to start completing like every week before lab so I will see you guys tomorrow after health assessment class I also forgot to mention our instructor was super sweet and let us take um, some gloves and a mask and a face shield home so that we can practice on our own and then I also have the gown in here too Guys, I am officially done with my first week of nursing school. And I just feel like it's gonna fly by. Like, I feel like it's gonna go by so fast. Like, this week already went by so quick. But I had my last class today, which was health assessment. It was my last class of the week, and it was this morning at 8 a.m. Um, and I had to wake up so early. I was so, so tired. 
um because i had to wake up at like 6 20 but i met my new teacher she was an er nurse so like when she's talking to the class and she's telling stories like relating the stuff that we're learning in class to the actual to real world nursing experience all of her examples are like er stories which is like it's so interesting to see how like the different teachers based on their background like relate their stories to like, the specialty that they worked in um and i found that like a lot of my teachers so far were like they used to be like labor and delivery or like ob nurses so it's interesting to have one that's an er nurse too um, and I like that because you get like a full like scope of different backgrounds if that makes sense Basically, we just went over like the PowerPoint um, And the first chapters for the class basically just started learning all the basics of health assessment And we're still like learning like fundamentals of nursing type stuff So we learned the different terminology for like like the different types of patient databases or assessments and rating priorities from like highest to to like first level, second level, and third level priorities, um, which definitely relates to like ER nursing, my teacher said, because like as an ER nurse, like you definitely have to be able to like assess what's the biggest priority right now, like in terms of saving your patient's life and what's like at the bottom of your priority list. And then we also learned like the basics for giving a physical examination and how the interview process is supposed to go when you're interviewing your patient. We also learned about like objective versus subjective, um, like signs versus symptoms, like signs are objective, symptoms are subjective, which is like symptoms are what the patient tells you. Objective stuff is like what you as the healthcare provider um, assess yourself and see yourself. So yeah, I like that class too so far. I like my teacher. I like all my teachers so far. Um, they all seem really great. All of them have extensive backgrounds in nursing. They were all nurses for like years. But now I wanted to give you guys a recap of my first week of nursing school. Um, it definitely, it was a lot. It went by really, really quick though. And I do feel like I, I had so much anxiety like on Monday and I do feel like that has settled down quite a bit since then because as each day goes on, I kind of learned like how each of the classes are gonna work um, in terms of like the exams and what they want and what they're gonna cover in the exams and stuff like that. Um, but it's still only the first week. Like I still have a while to go. I'm still getting adjusted and stuff. Despite any stress or overwhelmed I might feel, um, it was still a good week and I still had fun and I am still so, so thankful um, every time I'm in one of those classrooms to be there. But that's about everything I can think of for my week one recap. I don't know if I'm going to do these like every single week. I think that would be a lot, but I am going to keep um, uploading videos and documenting my journey um, for myself and for other people who want to watch my journey as well um, because for the past few years, like as a pre-nursing student, I would just constantly watch like nursing school videos and they really helped me to stay motivated. Um, and then I also like watching nursing school videos like for study tips and things like that. So whether you're a nursing student or a pre-nursing student or you're in another medical program or you just enjoy watching my videos, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video of my first week of nursing school and if you did, please make sure to give it a like and to subscribe for more videos from me in the future.